what's up everybody it's kale and we're back at it with another my team video and it's the start of the week so you already know what we're gonna do we're gonna get into this uh the new daily players and so we got to get four steals with uh will barton in, in some games and then we get Vinny. i'm not going to say his full name because youtube has, has this weird thing like if you say that the video gets uh like marked so i'm not going to say his full name we're just going to call him Vinny. but yeah so we got to get four steals with uh with barton so we should be able to get this all in one game but if not we'll just chop it up and we'll, we'll get it done regardless yeah we got to get four steals with with barton but, I mean, yeah, we're back at it. New week. We get new players. Like, it's it's going good. Like, it's going good. We're getting closer and closer. Like, I think, I mean, I think, matter of fact, next week, next week will be the week where we get, like, pink diamonds and stuff, I think. Or, no. I think it is. I mean, we're up to rubies now. I mean, we're up to 90 overalls. So, if you if we just assume it goes up by one, uh, by one every day this week, by one overall, yeah, we'll definitely be at, whatchamacallit, we'll definitely be at that next week. Ah. I don't know, steel, steals aren't that hard. But it's definitely a challenge. Yeah, if we, if we assume it goes up by one every day this week, we'll be at 95. And then that's a a, a diamond. And then, I mean, we'll be at pink diamonds next week, so we actually be at some something we can do something with. Mhm. Mm Shot Will Barton. So yeah, got to get four steals, and I mean, shouldn't be too bad. I'm trying to think who? Oh yeah, the the playoffs, the playoffs. Uh. Like players came out, so it was Brunson, Smart, Bridges, uh, Grayson Allen. Who else? Grayson Allen. I just saw. Why can't I not remember? Ah, Brunson, Bridges, Smart, Grayson Allen, uh, Maxi. It was all guards. Yeah, okay, I remember now. It was all guards, and it was a few other players too. But I don't know. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna. Oh god, I don't think it's anybody I'm gonna get. Like I don't all those guards are small. And so it's like, eh. I don't think I'm gonna get any of them. That is like such a KD like move. And speaking of KD, I don't know. I I put a lot of stuff in the auction house last night. So hopefully we can uh get closer and closer to getting them. Like I definitely think that's my next goal. I wanna try to get a like I said, a big name player. I get his release, you have to hold. So, like, like I know when I first got him, I said I like his release. But, uh, I mean, I still like it. It's just you have to hold it. So, like. Uh. Oh, very late. Sheesh. Yep. Pick six. Chill, Giddy. It's like it's hard because I have to try to. I have to try to not win so I can try to get all the steals in one game. But I mean, I'm halfway there. Uh huh. Ah! One more steal, baby. Yeah, just foul. Ah. Ah, that's a bad release. Ah. Oh, one more steal. Ah. Ah. 
Ah. Oh, you ripped this, ripped this. Oh! That would have been the last deal. I think, I think I'm going to get it. Just get past. I can't do. I can't even do nothing about that. I mean, we can just keep trying to ex extend the game. That's about all I got. I know with Vinny, we got to get, uh, I think it's 15 threes. So that's definitely going to take two games. But I mean... I don't think I've ever, I, I know not fouled out, but I don't think I've ever hit the foul limit in here. Ah, just beat me. Well, I guess let me not come down and end the game. I, mean, I kind of have to shoot, kind of have to shoot bad shots. He shot that? I mean, I, I kind of have to. Give me that. Okay, bet. Yeah, we got it. It will. It will. Ah! No. Oh, yeah, goody. Hey! Oh my God! <laughs> Chill, bro. What did he ever do to you? Oh yeah, ball game. Ah! Then, so we'll put him on our. I think he's a. I just saw it, but of course I can't remember. Okay, yeah, shooting guard. So here we go. Here's Vinny. He went to state. You know, I'm a I'm a Carolina fan, like Tar Heel. So yeah, six four two hundred. And then high driving layup. Okay, ninety four, eighty nine. Driving dunks eighty five. So can't get contacts. Eighty six ball handle. That's typical. The defense is eh. Ninety four, ninety three, and eighty. Okay, interior's not too high. Okay, okay. Wow, <laughs> I mean, I I get it. It's only six all the fans, but fifty three. Well, I mean, 50, 59 badges total, like sixty badges. Sheesh. So yeah, Hall of Fame catch and shoot, pickpockets, limitless downhill, quick first step, and anything else is just gold. So this challenge shouldn't be too hard. I mean, he's you got sixty badges out of out of what eighty or seventy nine. I mean, he's pretty much got almost every badge in the game, at least every badge that that uh, he'll need for his position. So yeah, let's go ahead and. Plug him in, take out Will. And then yeah, we'll catch y'all. We'll catch y'all there. So here we go. Here we have the man himself, Vinny. So we're gonna see what he can do. I know this uh should be cash. I know his gold card came out. No, I I don't know if it came out, but it was out the other day and it was like a, a mean thing going around. So I mean I've I've played with him before. So we're gonna see what he can do though. It shouldn't be too hard though. He's got the badges, I mean he's got the attributes. To let me just cheese. So exactly what we're gonna try to do. We're gonna try to cheese. Two K should look like I'm looking at my player's shoes. Two K should low key like let you like how for my career you can create shoes in the menu and then uh it's not a three and then uh buy them like from the shoe shoe store for your micro player. They should do that for uh what you call it. For my team, like I mean, just why not? Now, I mean, I guess you you decide if you want to pay VC or MT for it, but they should like, cause I don't know, like I mean, my, my jerseys are the Carolina jerseys, and I don't plan on changing them. So I mean, uh, like having like Carolina themed shoes would be nice instead of like whoever having those yellow shoes. I mean, I guess it's not that deep. I don't know. Me and my friends, like, we we have a lot of good ideas that 2K should do, like. Such as uh, like how this year, and really in any year, you shouldn't have to work to set your spawn. Like I just, I mean, I don't really play park anymore. I haven't played park in forever. But, I mean, I don't really play park. 
in general anymore. But like, I just hit the thing where you had to run 26.2 miles to set your spawn, like stuff like that. Or uh, like my other friend Corey, he he has a good ideas about 2K2. Like, for example, if two people on, a, if there's two teams on the streak, there should be like a, well, for one, if you're on a streak and a team beats you, the team that beats you should get like some extra incentives of beating you, like whether it's more fast to level up, extra VC. But like, if you take off, if you knock off like a 10 game streak. You shouldn't just get the same regular reward that everyone else gets from winning a regular game. Like, it should be something. It should be in the streak. Like, if the court's on fire, you should get a, a big bonus for beating them. Like I said, it could be VC, free clothes, just free rewards in the game, free Gatorade boost, like, something like that. And then, uh, Corey was saying, like, if, if it's two teams in the park who are streaking, it should be, like, a way for them to, uh, like, match up with each other. We'll play each other without losing their streak. You get what I'm saying? Like, say I'm on court one, my team's on court one, and we're streaking up. And there's a team on court seven streaking up. There should be a way for us to play each other without losing our streaks. Like, because I know you have to hop off and go play them, but like, maybe like a, a menu pops up and it says, hey, you know, court, this other court is streaking too. Would you like to play them? And then like somehow through the the 2K servers, I'll just play each other without even leaving the court. Kind of like how like Rick is. Like you just stand there, and all of a sudden you pop up in the locker room, and all of a sudden you pop up in the game. Like it'd be just like that. But you're still in the park, and then when you win or lose, you're still in the same park, so you can just leave. Like stuff like that. Like it's just so, so such uh like inconveniences, like simple life stuff that 2K should put in the game. Like how you have to go get your money back from the auction if you get outbid, or how uh what should we call it? Like you have to keep updating it, and it keeps telling you your bid is at the highest bidder. Instead of just putting you to the the current bid, you have to keep updating it by like 10k. Like, it's just such little stuff that 2K should do to make the game so much easier. But, yeah, we'll see y'all on the next one. And we got halfway done with that one, so halfway there. All right, so we're back. So, actually, we're at seven threes out of 15. So, this game, I'm going to let them, like, get ahead. I'm going to let the score be close, and then we're going to try to hit our uh, our A3. Why would you rotate out of off of him? But, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I mean, it's just so much stuff 2K could do. Like, like I said, for my team, why do I have to go to my my bids and redeem my money for the auction? Like, why can't it just anytime I get out bid, automatically go back in my account? Like stuff like that. Or like I said, you know, when you click, and this this only makes sense if you play my team. But when you click, uh, like when you try to bid on somebody, if you're not the highest bidder, it'll just say you're not the highest bidder. Like, why not? And it'll, and it'll only go up by ten thousand. So why not just take me automatically to the highest bid and show me that instead of showing me it in 10,000 increments? Like, it's just so much stuff that 2K does, and it's just like, why? Something they did do this year, which which uh, made the game easier, is so you could buy boosts off your phone now. That was good. That's also, like, the quickest way you can see how much VC you had. Like, you know, before, you just have to go go to the uh, your animation store, and, it, like, 2K loading screens already take 10 years anyways. But it's like, why Why are we just not getting that in 2K21 or 2K22? Like, why well, can check my phone and see my VC? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely, uh, 2K's definitely, they do a lot of questionable stuff. But like how, like this is this is probably our biggest, our biggest gripe with 2K. Just how, uh, so like in the park especially, or even in rec, you can get you can get 99.9 .9 performance, so you can get an A plus teammate grade and all that for 10 games straight. But you have one game, and you don't even have a bad game. But you just have one game where you don't get 99.9. .9. Your overall just drops. And I get it. That's kind of like real life. Like if you get one bad grade, it's gonna mess up all your good grades. But it's like for one, this is a video game, so it's already not realistic. Like look what we're playing. This is not realistic at all. But it's just like oh, like we we, we would go on streaks and not level up at all or level up. 0.2 and then we'll lose two games three games and we'll go down even even farther than we, when we went up like it's just so annoying with 2k like you can play this game for hours say you're 95.0 or 90 you say you're 90 97 97 overall you can play this game for hours or go on a streak for an hour and a half and lose maybe two games and you start off at a 97 overall you'd be a 97.3 after going like say uh 10 for 12 in your games like it just don't make no sense bro like 2k doesn't reward people enough and then it's like realistically on threes there's no way y'all can all get 99.9 .9 performance like we, we my friends we have we have uh 
all have different builds. Like we have a big man, and then we have me, the guard, and we have my other friend who's the guard. So it's like we all have different builds, and realistically, we just, we just can't all get 99.9. Like it's really meant for twos. That way you can have the big man who sets screens and gets rebounds and blocks. You have a guard who scores all the points. It's really meant for twos, but like not everybody wants to play twos. I, I don't like playing twos. Twos is, is weird to me. Just like twos players don't like playing threes. Like I don't know though. It's it's definitely annoying when like you have a group of friends or even a, I mean even a wreck. You have a group of friends and y'all all want to play together, but y'all play together and you uh you can't even rip up. That may be too deep. You can't even rip up because the two K reward system is so not like non rewarding. Like. I don't know. That, that's that's my little 2K rant. I mean, I could, I could go on for for hours about stuff 2K could and should fix. One thing I did like they did this year though was the rebirth was free. Like it was it was mandatory our builds as it should be. Like that's something that should have been. And I get it. You know, you gotta grind for your build. But like, if I want to have say three to three to seven builds for any situation, I don't want to be spending all this time like trying to. Uh, I, I probably should let them score. I don't want to be spending all this time trying to trying to get my builds back up and grinding them like. So I definitely like how they did that. I definitely like how they did that. And let me let, me let them get a three. But well, no, should I let them get a. Should it be a three? I gotta think. My brain. But they got a two. Oh no, I did it. No, no, no. I, if I get a two right here and they get a three, that's what I gotta do. Can I even get that? Okay. So now they gotta get a three. And I gotta come down. Or pass that out, Zebo. Well, okay. I, I think I'm just gonna show y'all one three from the next game, or maybe show y'all some clips from the next game. That's. I mean, that's what it's looking like. I mean, Vinny, he he does what he does. Like he's he's cash. He's cash. But yeah, we'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs> Alright, so we're back. I just realized this too. Like, this is something else 2K did just to make you take longer in the game. They purposely made it 15 threes because for the most part, that's that's what you can get in a triple threat offline game. Like Instead of making it 14 to making it 10, let's make it 15 because that's, that's... I mean, yes, you can get more, but it's like, just why? Like, So boom, there's the one three we needed. Now we're done with this. Like... <laughs> Yeah, definitely let me know some of y'all some of y'all thoughts about what 2K should improve on. Like, like I've mentioned the reward system pretty much. Uh, I don't know. Like, it's just stuff for my team. Like, it's a lot of stuff 2K sh 2K could improve on. Like, shot. But I mean, I know my team and Park are the two biggest selling points. But th those are the two the two most people. Like, that's the two most people play the most. They have the most problems. Like. Why, why can I not join my friends in the park? Like, that was such a big issue. I think it was 2K19 or 2K20. That was such a big issue. Like, I can never join my friend's park. I would press join on the phone, and it would just never happen. Like, how, how do you have that? Or, I mean, or just like with Rec, like, uh, I said in a previous video, Rec is so, like, they should not let one person literally take over the game on your team in a bad way. That's what I mean. Somebody who's getting three in the keys, you know, if you're not passing the ball, missing shots, not passing the ball. Like, 2K should not let them stay in the game the entire time. Like, we be trying to make people grade out by giving the ball late, late shot clock because they're playing so bad and they're, they're hurting us. Like, I don't know. And it's, it's ironic because earlier I said I don't like with 2K, like how they punish people so much. But if you're purposely playing bad, yes, you should get punished severely. Just like you're severely hurting your team, you should severely be punished if you're purposely playing bad. Like, I don't know. It's, 2K, it's just, it's just weird with the reward. Like, they reward people who all play the same. People who who run around. I can I mean, I can't even do it. I was playing with somebody last night who was doing it. Who run around and try a three hunt and try to be a dribble guy. They reward that over people who pass the ball, set screens, play defense. Like they reward just the most cheesiest offensive oriented stuff. Like it's just I don't know. It make it makes 2K annoying to play if you're like a a real basketball player or if you're like a. If you're just trying to play, like if you're trying to play actually effective, like, I don't know. But I mean, I already know this 2K was going to be, was going to be something when 2K came out and said, well, Mike Wang, or, was it Mike Wang or Baluba, your yeah, same person? When uh, he came out and said, 
yeah, this year, you know, you're not really going to have to have a high three-point rating to shoot. Like, that's how I already knew that this 2K was going to be fluked. When he came out and said that, and I mean, as y'all see, every white goes in. If it's, if it's wide open, like if you have your contest thing on and this has wide open, you're going to make it every time. Slightly early, slightly late, you're going to make it every time. Like it's, and it just lowers the, like you see, I, I just made one. Like I think I've green maybe twice this game, but it just completely lowers the skill gap. Like, like it just completely lowers the skill gap as I just make a, a slightly late open. One thing I will say though, if it's open, I feel like open is kind of like a ghost contest. Like, I don't know. I have I have strange theories about 2K. Like it says open, but it's actually somewhat contested on 2K. Like it, but it just says it just displays open, but it's really somewhat contested. Because if it's wide open, it's pro probably cash. If it's open, you have a like a 50/50 chance of them missing. But just or just like how this year for some reason they boosted the early and late, like uh percentage that it goes in like i've seen so many earlies and late goes in and it's just like you already made shooting super easy by giving somebody every white but you're going to give them lates and earlies too like it's just so uh okay that, that was a heat check that was a heat check but yeah i don't know 2k has a lot of a lot of stuff they got to figure out and i mean but it's at the same time they're also the monopoly because they're the only basketball game like nobody nobody plays nba live like, I don't know. Unless someone either comes up with another basketball game, like, we're going to keep struggling with 2K until the end of times. But yeah, we'll see y'all. See y'all back at the menus. But, I mean, yeah, that's that's it. Like, you can see we, we done knocked them out every day. Like, 16 out of 17. So... I can check back here tomorrow. We're going we gonna to see what we got. I don't think it's anything else. Yeah. I mean, it's nothing. Nothing else we can uh we can do. But yeah, thank y'all for watching and see you next time.